Okay, so first problem comes from 1.3 properties of exponents. We're going to simplify this expression and I want to write each answer with only positive exponents. So that's the key there. When we simplify, we want to have positive exponents. So that's the number uh, tells me how many factors of each term there are. Okay. First thing I have, I've got 8 x cubed over y squared divided by 24x y cubed. Okay, so when you're in doubt with these types of problems, sometimes it's good to just write it out. So this 8 and the 24, I look at that and I think, okay, 8 and 24, what do they have in common? Well, 3 times 8 is 24, so this 24 will actually factor. Okay, so in the denominator, I have 8 times 3, which is my 24. Okay, how many x's do I have? I have 1x. How many y's? y cubed, that means I have 3 y's. 1, 2, 3. Now, in the numerator, I have an 8. I have 3 x's, so x, x, x. And then I have 2 y's. y, y. So when in doubt, write it out. Now, if I go to simplify here, what can cancel? The 8 cancels with the 8 here. And then I have three x's up top, one x down low. So one of these x's cancels with one of those. And then two y's cancel with two y's here. Now what do I have left? I have an x and an x. Okay, so I have x squared. And then denominator, I have a three. And I have a y. All right. Now are all my exponents positive, okay, a 2 here in the exponent, that's good. What's my exponent on the 3? Well, the exponent on the 3 is actually a 1. When there's no exponent, it's understood to be 1. And the exponent on the y is 1, so we're good to go. This is good. All right, let's try another one. Okay. So, a to the negative 3, b squared over negative 5, a, C to the negative 4. So just like the last one, first thing I want to do, I want to make sure that none of my exponents are negative. Okay, so I'll just start, you know, with each part here and work my way through it. So I'm going to go ahead and write my fraction out. All right, now A to the negative 3, that's a problem. So how do we get rid of that negative 3? We'll have to do the reciprocal. So what does that do? It flips it from the numerator to the denominator. So the a to the negative 3 becomes a cubed in the denominator. Now the b squared, b squared 2 is positive, so that's going to stay up top. We're going to leave it there. Don't mess with it. Okay, so we're good with this. Now the denominator here, you may be tempted to see, oh look, there's a negative 5. I need to flip that to the top and uh, then I'll be good to go and I'll write positive 5. That's a very common mistake, all right? You gotta be careful because this negative five here actually has a positive one exponent. And since it's a positive exponent, we're gonna leave it there, okay? So I have negative five, and then I have a to the one, that's positive. But then the c to the negative four, since it's in the denominator, when I do the reciprocal, we're gonna flip it upstairs. So it's gonna go right up here, c to the four. Okay, now last thing I can do here, looks like the top is pretty much good to go, but my I have an A here and I have three A's there, so how many A's total? I have four of them. I like to write my coefficients first, so I've got a negative five here and then I have A to the fourth. All right, looks like all my exponents are positive, so I'm simplified.